Now, today we will discuss about bioelectric potentials. So, what do you mean by the bioelectric potentials? So, the basic bioelectric potentials, the transducers are used to measurement of the bioelectric potentials. A transducer conversions ionic potentials and a current into electric potentials and currents. Such a transducer consisting of two electrodes which pick up the ionic potential difference between their respective points. Now these potentials and waveforms are named on the application basis such as a first one is a electrocardiogram. So electrocardiogram it is suitable for the measurement of the heart potential and second one is a WEG electroencephalogram. It is suitable for the measurement of human being brain potentials and third one is a electromyogram. So it is suitable for the measurement of human being muscle potentials. Now these are the basic bioelectric potentials from the human being physiology. So before going to discuss about uh, this physiology, let's we'll move into the first one. So that is electrocardiogram. Now electrocardiogram. So general electrocardiogram. So human being heart it will be. Now your human being heart is divided into a four chambers. Now this is human being heart is divided into four chambers. So in that what is the first one? First one is a right atrium. Now it is your right atrium. Second one is a left atrium. And third one is a right ventricle. And fourth one is a left ventricle. Now when the pulse is generated, your electrocardiogram. So now in this electro cardiogram or the bioelectric potential generated by a muscles of the human being heart. So the other name of this electrocardiogram is called as a EKG. Other name of the human being electrocardiogram other name is EKG. German scientists they were introducing. So where the action potential it will be start. The action potential in the heart is originated near the top of the right atrium at the point is called as a pacemaker or a sinoatrial node. Now this point is top of the right atrium. So this position is called as a sinoatrial node, SA, SA node or the top of the right atrium is called as a pacemaker. Now if you want to, so general clarification of the human being heart, general clarification of the human being heart is divided into four chambers now what is the basic bp how we can dividing in that case if how can you dividing normal bp of the human being heart so what is the normal bp so we know that systolic pressure by diastolic pressure so in that what do you mean by the systolic pressure normal systolic pressure is a 120 by diastolic pressure is a 80 so systolic pressure means heart contraction. So human being heart contraction pressure is called a systolic pressure. Diastolic pressure means heart relaxation. Relaxation of the human being heart is known as a diastolic pressure. So this will be BP measure in normally sigma manometer. So that is mm of Hg. So mercury level. Now from this how we can uh, waveform how the waveform which propagate into all directions along the surface of the both atrium as well as a ventricle. Now we will see into as the uh, figure of the general uh, waveform of the electrocardiogram. Now this is your general waveform of your electrocardiogram. Now in this uh, function of the human being, the function of the human being heart which generate bioelectric potentials and recorded waveforms have been standardized with, the, with respect to the amplitude and phase relationship. So any deviations is identified as an abnormality. If for example any deviations is identified as an abnormality means for example so we need to so P wave so now in this case P, Q, R, S and T and finally U waveform is also there in the final case. Now this is your U waveform now it is physically represented as a u waveform now it will be a u waveform it is your u waveform last one is now what do the p p wave is known as a baseline 
विच रिप्रेजेंट्स डीपोलराइजेशन ऑफ दी एट्रियल मस्कुलर नाउ दिस इज पी वेव इज अ नॉर्मल आइसोपोटेंशियल लाइन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ए क्यू टू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स वॉट इज द क्यू टू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स हियर नाउ सेकेंड वन इज ए सेकेंड वन इज ए क्यू टू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स नाउ फ्रॉम दिस क्यू टू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स नाउ दिस क्यू टू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स रिप्रेजेंट्स द रीपोलराइजेशन ऑफ द एट्रिया एंड डीपोलराइजेशन ऑफ द वेंट्रिकल्स सो विच ऑकर्स साइमेंटेनिशली क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स लब एंड दब लब एंड दब सो दे इट विल बी ऑकर्स साइमेंटेनिशली देन वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट ओरिएंटेशन सो दैट वी हैव टू बी ए नेक्स्ट वन इज एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज ए and t wave now we have to be discuss about t wave t wave represents repolarization of both ventricles left ventricle as well as right ventricle it will represents as a t wave then next wave form so we have to be decided so that is your u wave form so finally u wave form so we can have to be so we have drawn this u wave form so finally last one is a u wave form the shape of the u wave form so which will be represented in this u wave form so u wave is the result of the after potentials in a ventricle muscles so after potentials in a ventricle muscles is called as a u wave form so this is the general ecg so wave form so that is your pqrst u wave form now we we will move into the uh, next one so then how this uh, wave forms can be so generalized so then what is the problem from the human being body so which can be represented by using this pqrst u wave form so ecg so general electrocardiography so generally so we have to be a general electrocardiography so we have to be decided in this case ecg normal any kind of your now so we will see into the electrocardiogram so that is your ecg can diagnose the problem of the patient it can be identify the problem of the rhythmic disturbances which may be tachycardia due to the fast heart beats or second one is a bradycardia due to the slow heart beats or irregular pulses the heart problems may be due to the conduction abnormalities such as left bundle branch block and second one is a right bundle branch block a third one is a eight atrium and ventricle blocks so these poor blood supply to the heart muscle is three means like a termed as a ischemic heart beats so that is ischemic heart diseases and this leads to a chest pain and also heart failures or heart attacks the metabolic effects may be lead to electrolyte abnormalities and wrong medicines or thyroid diseases if you are not identify the heart beat rates as well as the electrocardiography so we are not identify the different abnormalities so then we will give the wrong medicines and we will identify the thyroid diseases from the human being so physiology now we have to be represented into the further so that is your last one so what is your uh basic amplitudes and durations of electrocardiography now these are the different amplitude durations so in that first one is a amplitude durations so p wave what is the amplitude duration so that p wave is a 0.26 milli volts so p wave and second one is a r wave 0.150 milli wave milli volts and q wave represents 25 percentage of the r wave and last one amplitude so that is your t wave 0.1 to 0.5 milli volts now in this case intervals so that is your durations what is the duration from your p to r interval what is the duration p to r interval so that is your 0.10 to 0.20 seconds and q to t interval here the q to t interval is a 0.34 to 0.45 seconds and the s2t segment is a 
एस टू टी सेगमेंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव टू जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सेकेंड्स एंड पी वेव इंटरवल जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो सेकेंड्स एंड लास्ट वन इज क्यू आर एस इंटरवल सो क्यू आर एस इंटरवल इज ए जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एट सेकेंड्स नाउ दीज आर द डिफरेंट एम्पलीट्यूड्स एंड सो ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफी सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी दिस इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफी वे फॉर्म सो इन एक्स एक्स इज योर टाइम पीरियड नाउ वी हैव टू बी सी इन दिस इलेक्ट्रोकार्डियोग्राफी वे फॉर्म इन एक्स एक्सिस इज ए सो नाउ योर टाइम पीरियड एंड वाई एक्सिस इज ए वोल्टेज then you are in millivolts or in x axis in milliseconds or seconds whatever it may be so different intervals and different approaches depends upon the wave forms doctor so they will give the medicines to the patient if for example your heart beat rate is very uh, so very slow and um, very uh, normal rhythmic heart beat rate slow lap the lap the there is a large gap in between one pulse into the another pulse so we will get that function is called as a low bp your pulse rate is very low your high bp your so wave pumps your wave pump is um, compression wave pump so then you will so decided as your heart beat rate is a high bp condition so low bp condition your wave pump will be prolonging this and high bp condition your wave pump will be ibp condition your wave form will be compressed so this case we can identify so different approaches now what are the types of the blood vessels so we are three types of the blood vessels in the one is a arteries so that is your one is a so what is the three types of the blood vessels we have to be decided in this case so one is a one blood vessel so from this one is a atris blood vessel one is a atris and second one is a veins and third one is a capillaries c so atris means oxygenated blood supply into all parts of the human being body so that is called as a atris and second one is a veins what do you mean by the veins so it will collect the deoxygenated blood into all parts of the human being body into the human being heart the last one is a and capillaries capillaries is very small blood vessels it will be supply the blood it will be supply into the one at a time it cannot be re back so so now these very small blood vessels from the uh, so uh, from the human being heart this is the final of your electrocardiography